Welcome back, another episode. Spoilers ahead. The Deirdre's Service Day in Mayfair Witches. Episode 3, Cyprian probes Rowan's mind to see how she may make use of her abilities. In the first moments of Episode 4 is Scottish flashback. Susan is seen grieving her mother's passing alongside a group of ladies whom we assume to be witches. Rowan has an improper dream about Cyprian in the present day in which he transforms into Lasher. Cyprian promises to be there when she awakes to accompany her to the memorial service for her mother. There may soon be jealousy on Lasher's part because they do seem to have a soft spot for one another. Before the service begins, Carlotta checks on Delphine in the basement. As she expected, she discovers that she is dead, and the necklace is missing, indicating that Lasher will soon meet Rowan. Although his daughter Josephine persuades him to attend his niece's funeral, Cortland doesn't appear too delighted about it. We don't mind that Rowan is destined to become a strong witch, but just because you can see a lizard's nervous system doesn't mean it's attractive. Cortland steals a lock of Deirdre's hair during the service. It was disgusting, whether it was used for some sort of witchcraft or was a sinister souvenir. Rowan encounters Carlotta, who offers to provide her with information. When Cyprian's organization identified the man who killed Deirdre as being possessed, Cyprian was forced to resign. Cyprian verifies that the man did indeed kill Deirdre and that he was paid to do so when he puts his palm on his face. But Lasher is in charge of his present behavior, and she ends up killing him. Carlotta also explains to Rowan the Mayfair's connection to Ellie and her friendship with them. She also reveals to her that Deirdre wanted her to be free from the Mayfairs despite her grief over losing her daughter. Rowan is also cautioned by Carlotta to be wary of those who praise Lasher. Rowan meets her extended family at the service, and it seems to be quite well known that the women have magic in their blood. Rowan is informed by Josephine that the house is hers and she is free to do whatever she pleases with it. Cortland is also introduced to by Rowan, who informs her that Lasher is a gift but adds that he is there to serve her rather than the other way around. Carlotta enters the scene as she sees Cortland and Rowan interacting, and as she and her brother argue, he informs Rowan about how Deirdre was handled throughout her childhood. As the visitors leave, Cortland tells his daughter in a hushed voice that Lasher is still inside the house. Episode 4 of Mayfair Witches Explanation of the ending What motivates Carlotta to try to kill Rowan Cyprian worries about Rowan because his boss only wants him to keep her safe, but he feels he must do more than just be her constant companion and bodyguard. As he begins looking into the Mayfairs, he comes across a diary in which a man noted that as long as the woman is wearing the necklace, she is Lasher's property. At that point, Rowan, who had discovered the necklace and was sporting it, sent him a photo. She sends it to him and claims that in her dream, it was there. Carlotta is astonished to see Rowan wearing the necklace inside the Mayfair residence. She invites the woman to join her for dinner. Rowan concurs and continues to inquire at the table about the specifics of her mother's condition. Carlotta finally acknowledges that she has detested caring for Deirdre her entire life, and that she now hates Rowan for it. Rowan is terrified, especially when she observes Carlotta acting aggressively more and more. Rowan narrowly avoids being hit by a lamp as the woman begins to set the place on fire. Fortunately, Cyprian shows up and unlocks the door, saving Rowan, but Carlotta stabs Cyprian in the process. Lasher locks the doors, preventing Rowan and Cyprian from escaping, and mutters in Carlotta's ear that Rowan is already his. After telling her this, he probably kills her. Now that she was wearing the necklace, Carlotta likely realized that nothing could stop Lasher from affecting Rowan. She had attempted to murder her in order to escape the effects of that connection. Carlotta is aware of a certain aspect of Lasher's capabilities and true identity. She is afraid of it happening, and her aggressive behavior indicates that she thinks all is lost. She must have thought that killing Rowan and herself was the best way to end the whole thing once and for all, which is why she did what she did. Only time will tell if she was right. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.